This video is brought to you by my amazing Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help support the channel and keep it going, consider becoming a Patreon today. Link is in the description below. Jacob's Wife is a film I've been eagerly awaiting. I really enjoyed Travis Stevens' last film, The Girl on the Third Floor, and was excited to see what he would work on next. Adding on top of my excitement was the cast, led by Jean Rivette's Barbara Crampton and Larry Fessenden. Crampton is also one of the film's producers, having spent years advocating for the script to be put to film. The film follows Anne, a woman married to a small town minister who feels like her life and marriage have been shrinking over the past 30 years. After a chance encounter with the master, she discovers a new sense of power and an appetite to live bigger and bolder than before. As Anne is increasingly torn between her enticing new existence and her life before, the body count grows and Jacob realizes he will have to fight for the wife he took for granted. Jacob's Wife feels like a dark horror comedy that could have been made in the 80s. The film fully embraces how cheesy it is by playing up the typical vampire tropes. It's also a portrait of a marriage that's on the verge of falling apart, which both Barbara Crampton and Larry Fessenden absolutely deliver on. Which leads me to what I liked about Jacob's Wife. Barbara Crampton is a living legend and horror icon. It's no secret I absolutely love her films and she delivers a fantastic performance. She's able to show a lot of depth of the character of Anne, and we feel her struggle of being brushed aside by her husband. So when she's finally able to stand up for herself and not be known as just Jacob's wife, it's an empowering moment for the character. Transformations like that in a character are a ton of fun to watch, especially when done so expertly by someone like Barbara Crampton. Larry Fessenden is another actor I have massive respect for. He's one of those character actors that I always enjoy watching on screen. With Jacob's wife, he's given one of his best performances, especially considering he's totally playing against type. The chemistry between Crampton and Fessenden is so much fun to watch. These characters feel lived in, which led me to get super invested in the story. The story is also a lot of fun, providing opportunities for our characters to get into to progressively more precarious situations. The kills and the amount of blood squirting like geysers gave me a great laugh, which led me to loving the film even more. Unfortunately, I do feel the film is held back by its budget. I can totally see what Travis Stevens was going for in certain scenes, but some of the makeup and gore effects left a bit to be desired. With all that said, Jacob's wife gets an add to the collection. I thought this film was a blast that is only slightly hampered by its budgetary limitations. Other than that, if you're into B-horror movies and want to see Barbara Crampton be a badass vampire, and honestly, who wouldn't, then you should definitely check out Jacob's Wife. This video was made possible by my lovely Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help support the work I do, become a Patreon today. Link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to leave a like. It helps out the channel a ton. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Thank you so much for coming by and I'll see you guys on the next video.